Welcome to Pre-Algebra Chapter 2.5, Solving Equations Using Addition and Subtraction. We start this chapter with a new vocabulary term, inverse operations. Inverse operations are two operations that undo each other, such as addition and subtraction, or multiplication and division. When you perform the same inverse operation on each side of an equation, you obtain what's called an Let's look at the subtraction property of equality to help us make equivalent equations. Subtracting the same number from each side of an equation produces an equivalent equation. Let's say if x plus 3 equals 5, then x plus 3 minus 3 equals 5 minus 3, or x equals 2. We could also write this using variables. If x plus a equals b, then x plus a minus a is equal to b minus a, or x equals b minus a. We've used the subtraction property to create two equivalent equations. Let's use the subtraction property to solve an equation for x. Solve x plus 9 equals negative 3. So we can move this negative 9 to this side of the equation using the subtraction property. That lets us isolate the x and solve for the x. So rewriting this equation, x plus 9 equals negative 3. x plus 9 minus 9 equals minus 3 minus 9. Then we have x equaling negative 12. See how simple that is? We can check for reasonability of our answer by simply reinserting the number that we've solved for. So negative 12 plus 9 equals negative 3. Negative 12 plus 9 would be negative 3 equals negative 3. So our x equals negative 12 was the correct answer. We've learned to use subtraction to make equivalent equations. Now let's use addition. Adding the same number to each side of an equation produces an equivalent equation. For example, if x minus 3 equals 5, then x minus 3 plus 3 equals 5 plus 3. And when we simplify, we get x equals 8. Using variables, if x minus a equals b, then x minus a plus a equals b plus a. And when we simplify, x equals b plus a. Let's solve an equation using addition now. 23 equals y minus 11. Or 23 plus 11 equals y minus 11 plus 11. We simplify to get 34 equals y. We can check for reasonability by inserting our 34 back into our original, our original equation. 23 equals 34 minus 11. Indeed, it does. Now let's apply this idea of the addition and subtraction properties of equality to solving a real-world problem. One method that's used for weighing a horse is to put it on a trailer of known weight and then weigh the horse and the trailer together on a truck scale. Let's say we want to weigh a horse using this method. The weight of the trailer alone is 2,150 pounds. The combined weight of the horse plus the trailer is 3,375 pounds. So what is the weight of the horse? We have all of the information that we need to solve for the weight of the horse. If the horse is represented by h, the weight of the horse is represented by h, we know the value of the weight of the trailer, correct? It's 2,150 pounds. And the total is 3,375 pounds. 
So H plus 2,150 minus 2,150 2, equals 3,375 minus 2,150. Therefore, the weight of the horse is going to be equal to 1,225 pounds. And here are your checkpoint problems for this chapter. For each of these problems, please solve for the variable. There's one more to go on the next page. And here is your last problem for this chapter. While holding his cat, Ben steps on the scale. The scale reads 161 pounds. Ben weighs 148 pounds. So what is the weight of the cat? I'll see you tomorrow to solve this mystery and to solve more equations together.